Well, welcome to the seventh annual edition of the Sports Betting West Africa Summit, happening live here at the Federal Palace Hotel and Casino, Lagos, Nigeria. Well, everybody from the regulators to the operators of the Sports Betting World are gathered here today. This is the seventh edition, so you know that it is not only um, vital to create exhibitions and summit like this, but it is also an avenue to bring people together from the gaming ecosystem to have conversations. And I'll be taking you through some interview sessions where we'll be talking to some of our partners, guests, and also regulators, sharing their ideas and their experience so far, being a part of this summit, and you know, what they expect moving forward from this point. Don't go anywhere, I am Zini AK, and this is Inside Gaming Africa. Okay, right here live at the 7th annual edition of the SBWA uh, Summit 2022. I'm be talking to none other than Frank Herald from Emirates. Frank, how are you? Very good, thank you so much. How do you feel being, being a part of all of this right now? It's amazing. That's the reason why we're coming back. And I'm sure next year I will also be back here because um, it's not about only the context. It's about the uh, things we can discuss. We have clients here, we have potential clients. So I really appreciate being here. Thank you for us. So talking about the things that you uh, um, can discuss and be part of and offer the West African market, tell us how has it been so far uh, being in the West African market? The West African marketing, that's what we heard also in the opening session, is a very passionate one. So that's what I really like. So people are open, people, people are really keen on improving and, and, and going into business. Um, we help the market and our need, I think it's, it's very appreciated as well, to bring in more trust. It's, it's about the gaming market as well, but especially in, in markets like in West Africa, uh, there are many operators and business that start from scratch, that start from the beginning, and it's very good to bring in some substantial business that, and, and, and the opportunity to grow the market. I had your heartfelt opening speech. Um, it just goes to show the importance of having gatherings like this or having uh, uh, summits like this. But I want you to throw more light uh, for the benefit of those watching now and that are not here today. Okay, and the important of having this summit is to bring the industry stakeholders together so we can um, deliberate on innovations, regulations and the opportunities in, in the gaming sector in Africa and particularly West Africa. Okay, let's talk about the gaming sector. What is your future projection of the gaming sector in West Africa? How far have you seen that they've come and what is your future projection? Okay, with, with the innovations and uh, technology, uh, so now there are opportunities in the gaming sectors, in sport betting, online casino, virtual gaming, and most importantly, the e-sport that is fast growing. Uh, currently, I think Egypt is, Egypt is number one in Africa. So West Africa has always been a, a liberal environment. So we need to take advantage of it now before it's too late because there's a uh, huge number of unemployment. So we have area where software developers, we can, most of our youth can become software developers so they can be employed by the platform providers or they can also provide solutions themselves to the gaming sector. How are you, sir? Very well. Um, I'm Gosio Kawoke, the Managing Director for Kingmakers and Bet King. I told you. Well, let's talk about Bet King. Bet King right now is a household name. It's one of the most biggest successful uh, sports betting company that we have in Nigeria and um, some other African countries um, at the moment. Tell us, what is the secret? What is that juicy secret to the success of Bet King so far? Um, I think uh, we, you know, we started about four plus years ago and we realized the importance of investing in people, investing in our products and um, uh, investing in building customer trust and, and I think we've done a decent job of that and that's why the business has grown as quickly as it, as it has um, in such a short time. Um, started off in Nigeria, now we are in four African countries with plans to launch across multiple more um, in the next in the next uh, year or two so by investing in the people who are working within the business investing in the products in each market and taking the right product to the you know to the market um, looking at what people are looking for giving customers exactly the kind of products that they're looking for whether it's on the virtual site or in our sports book and actually just owning the full value chain of the services that we provide to our customers that has enabled us to you know unlock 
the, the hurdles that we would have probably faced, which is why we're in four countries in such a short time and we're, we're looking to grow even further. My name is Rami Abiramia. I'm the Vice President for Pragmatic Play in Africa. And I'm happy to be here. Like uh, Every year we are waiting for events to do this uh, special event to engage, to see all the iGaming partners. Uh, it's lovely. Uh, we engage every year. Pragmatic is always uh, present in this. And uh, we're now anxious for next year, for the best to come. This is day one and you're already looking forward to yeah, next year. I like the end. Yeah, every time it's good. Every time it's better. Uh, uh, they are doing a very good job and uh, we're always supporting uh, all our partners here. Interestingly, it's my first edition of attending this event and it is amazing. I mean, you can even ask for any better. I'm really glad to be here. You just got off the stage and it was really amazing listening to you advocate for you know you know uh, uh, women in in this kind of sector where we have you know the it's a male dominated industrial sector and then you having this kind of conversation here today can you tell us what what are the importance of, of having such gatherings and such conversations? Um, thank you so much. So first I'll just say that look, I mean, inclusivity is key. Um, Inclusivity on every front is key, you know, as human beings. Um, we're in a world where it's mostly dominated by women. Um, even from a business standpoint, that's a huge loss to your business, right? Um, if you have just, you know, the men um, engaged in gaming, whether it's sports betting or you know, lottery or video gaming, then you're losing a huge market, right? And it's very important for me personally to, you know, dismantle that bias that comes with, you know, um, gaming being for men alone. Tell us, um, how do you feel being a part of the seventh annual edition of the SBW? I'm greatly honored and humbled to be here. It's my first time to be uh, in Lagos. Uh, I've been to Abuja and other states of uh, Nigeria, but it's my first time to be in Lagos. Oh, so how is Lagos treating you? Uh, well, uh, so far so good. I can't complain. All is well. Well, it has been an amazing time today at the Sports Bets in West Africa Summit. Seventh edition happening right here at the Federal Palace Hotel and Casino in Lagos, Nigeria. I have been having an amazing time talking to some of our guest speakers and also some of our attendees, operators and regulators all in this gaming ecosystem here today. It has been one amazing section. I am looking forward to the rest of the event today. So stay with me, don't go anywhere. I am still Zini AK and this is Inside Gaming Africa. All right, one of the pleasures of today's interview is meeting up with the organizer of this event. Um, the ma I'm talking of none other than the managing director of Eventus International, Mr. Yudi Sujiptadi. I got it. Well done. Oh, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. How, how do you feel uh, of seeing all of this, all the effort you put into today, coming to life in this manner? Uh, to be back here in Lagos is always very exciting. Uh, the hospitality, the friendliness of people, and the excitement from uh, every uh, stakeholders in the gaming industry. So after the two years uh, pause due to coronavirus, as you all know, um, my team and I are very, very excited uh, to finally be here. Uh, we have, each and every one of us, have put a lot of effort in putting together this event and uh, contacting uh, all the stakeholders in the gaming industry. And uh, we are very grateful to have the full support from the uh, Lagos uh, Lottery and uh, Gaming Authority, uh, especially Mr. Bashir Ari. Uh, who is uh, the uh, platinum sponsor for uh, this event. This is the seventh edition and I believe uh, Bert Bonanza would have been part of previous yeah, editions. Yeah, yeah. And how has he, the progression been so far? Yeah, I mean, you continue to see the growth. I mean, SBW here is doing a fantastic job. You know, this seems to be the only gaming conference that's really supporting Africa right now and Nigeria. I mean, I'm a little bit sentimental, Nigeria, you know. So it's really good to be part of it. 
and, and that's one of the reasons why I said I'm going to support this and um, be part of it. So it's really been going well now and um, I have a fantastic discussion with the organizer about how we can even make the next year a bit better, even more than this. So I'm excited. Well, My name is Baba Jimmy Okolano, CEO of Motiva Concept. Um, Tell us a bit about Motiva. It's for marketing uh, consultancy is and um, it's a big delight to be here because you have you know stakeholders come here, they come to network, they come to share ideas, and definitely when it's about the future of gaming, here's the right place to talk about it. And you know, when it comes to sport marketing in Nigeria, I think it's um, it's an ecosystem that really hasn't uh, been fully utilized. The potential is high. You can use sport marketing. Sport betting brands can use sports marketing as a way of getting across to their customers to promote sport development in Nigeria. And that's exactly why we have this kind of garden where we can talk the way out of the problems. Jeremiah Mange, what are you doing here today and what, what brand are you representing here today? Yeah, so I represent Bizin Africa Technology Limited. It's a company that uh, helps businesses to launch in Africa. So we have quite a number of subsidiary companies, a recruitment agency. Uh, called Light Recruitment Agency and then we have a digital marketing agency called Afria Digital Marketing. So our main role is just uh, pushing investors towards investing in uh, different sectors in Africa, gambling being one of them. So we saw that we need to be here. Oyinda Mola, let's talk about responsible gaming. How are the ways which they can adopt this responsible gaming? Well, okay, so um, to start with, um, I also double as head of operations for Gamble Alert Nigeria. And Gamble Alert is an advocate pushing seriously for responsible gaming and also preaching against underage gaming or gambling. So as a company and as the country manager of, the, of, of Parimatch, it is upon me to ensure that what I'm preaching is actually practiced. Other betting brands can adopt the self-exclusion rights where people can actually say, oh, they don't want to bet any longer or take me off your betting platform for now. They can also take advantage of our psychologists, of our rehab, of our call-in centers, of our workshops that we actually organize for responsible gaming. Are you having a good time? Of course, it's a really nice place. It's, we are enjoying here and we are very happy to have a stand as well here. So yeah, it's uh, really nice, especially for me, I'm first time traveling to Nigeria. So it's really exciting for me to see the people here, the culture and everything. Everybody very, you know, kind, smiling. So it's really exciting, yeah. All right, so I'm here with the COO of Starbet in person of Shewu Oyeneya. What is the future of iGaming across the Sub-Saharan region? Oh, that's a great question. When you look at the Sub-Saharan region now, there are a lot of opportunity. For instance, in Nigeria, there, we have the population and a lot of invest, investors want to invest in Nigeria because there are opportunities. When you look at Kenya, there are a lot of opportunities. That is why a lot of investors are coming in into Africa to tap the opportunity that we have. In the next five years, I'm expecting that I came in, in Africa as a whole is going to be one of the leading things that a lot of people will be looking up to. Just um, commend the organizers. It's it's different from the last time I, I attended and then it's been good connecting with all the industry friends um, and, and making new ones. Yeah, so, um, and the discussions ongoing, they are really important discussions that we should be having at this time. What would you say to potential investors that want to come into Africa, you know, and explore sports betting and, you know, invest in, in the sector of, of iGaming sector and sports betting sector? I would say very short advice, forget everything you know about uh, iGaming in Europe, it's, uh, it's uncomparable and uh, definitely come here, make a trip around the city, see how it's going on and uh, then make your choices. What an amazing day one of the SBWA 2022 Summit. It has been a spectacular one today. I have gone through all of the proceedings of today, talking to guests, speakers, operators, regulators. We're looking forward to day two tomorrow. I hear there is an award ceremony and every other thing that will be happening tomorrow. So keep it locked down. Don't go anywhere. I'm back tomorrow. I am Zini AK and this is Inside Gaming Africa.